There are already a number of legal challenges to Texas' strict new immigration law. This comes as officials in the border state say they're seeing a significant increase in illegal crossings. Jared Hill has the latest. In Eagle Pass, Texas, thousands of migrants draped in blankets huddle outside waiting to be processed. On Monday alone, U.S. Border Patrol says it handled nearly 11,000 people. The uptick at the border as Governor Greg Abbott signed a new crackdown. The goal of Senate Bill 4 is to stop the tidal wave of illegal entry into Texas. The law making it a state crime to cross the border illegally is raising worries of racial profiling. How do you know just by looking at somebody that they entered, um, you know, without papers? Uh, the only way you really know is if you're standing at the border and watching them cross. And legal challenges are already ramping up. The ACLU sued Tuesday, arguing the law violates the U.S. Constitution. The White House, leaving legal action up to the DOJ, is suggesting Texas overstepped. The federal court, not individual state, are, uh, is in charge of determining how and uh, when to remove uh, non-citizens non uh, for violating immigration for laws. And the issue of immigration not lost on the 2024 campaign trail. They're destroying the blood of our country. That's what they're doing. GOP frontrunner, former President Donald Trump in Iowa Tuesday, doubled down on rhetoric the White House says parroted Hitler. The Nazi leader criticized the mixing of races in Mein Kampf, arguing, quote, the originally creative race died out from blood poisoning. Trump said he never read Hitler's manifesto. The Texas law isn't set to go into effect until March.